Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Just wanted to share a few current projects that I'm working on. So I have a swap coming up with Scrap the World. It's a treat bag swap and we're in groups of five. So we have to make four for our partners and then one for the hostess, Tamika. So here is one of the bags that I'm working on. This one measures about nine by five and a half. So all I did was take a piece of 12 by 12 paper and that comes from this DCWV um, happy day stack my entire swap to include the handmade cards that I did all come from this stack of paper I scored at six and then again with a half inch on the ends and just folded my bags on the end because I didn't want the seam down the back or front I took some of this tool that I'd hauled from Joann's and I just wrapped it round in a knot. I have this rose from the $2 bin from Michaels, a little piece of lace on the side. This is one of the little charms that you can get out of the jewelry section at Michaels and that's an Eiffel Tower. Then I have some little trim pieces under the tool and a flat back little pearl on one of them. And then I did some shimmer spray on the rose if you can see that. So this is what one of my bags looked like. Second thing that I wanted to share were the handmade note cards. And I try to always make note cards for the swaps that I'm in. And then I just type out a letter so they could reuse the little note card. So these tags actually are cutouts in that paper pad. And then the paper that's behind there was the leftover paper from the top of my treat bags that I cut them down from the 12 inches to the 9 inches. I just put that in the back, pop the tags up on some foam that you can get from the Dollar Tree. And then I have some seam binding on the top of these that I got from Wild Orchid Crafts. I just glued it at the top and just kind of pinched it. And I'll just embellish a little bit more and include my note in that and include my note on the inside. The note cards I use is this 30 piece set with the note cards and envelopes that I got from uh, Michaels. They were 60% off so about a dollar and 70 cents and they do have them in this pink color and also in a green color. I'm also working on some summer happy mail packages for some crafty friends and these are some tags that I've created. These are some pre-cut die cut tags that are in a DCWV tag stack pad I got this from scrapbook.com and what it is is 36 sheets they're either journaling cards or tags or little spots already cut out for you some of them are cut and some aren't they even have some that are shaped like the cotton candy and the popsicles and I do have a complete flip through that I'll include below I use this Echo Park stamp and this one is called I'd Rather Be Crafting I got this from Cat Scrappiness and I also use this Alter New stamp and this one is called Crafty Friends and I got this one from scrapbook.com and the way I got it so dark is by using my um, Tonic Studio Tim Holtz this is my stamping platform so I just put the um, tags on here and just kept stamping until it got like really dark because I wanted it to be um, really black on there if you can see that and this one says crafty friends are the best friends and then I use four different stamps on this one the little flowers the heart and it says all good things come to those who craft the last thing that I'm working on that I wanted to share is um, I just had a recent vacation and I got the idea from Sentang Mayumi here on YouTube and what I do is um, I've been stamping a lot of images on this is the um, Nina 65 pound cardstock and I got it in the big pack from Office Depot I just stamp a bunch of images and I color them using my camellia markers and I get these from Michaels when they have the 60 or 50 percent off coupon and I just color a bunch of images in so I can use on future projects and I'm sure a lot of people do this these will be used for my um, sweet treats swap that I have coming up and I'm going to do another one of those little embellishment books that I did for my pen pal and then I'll just use these images and I'll cut all of these out using my brother scan and cut there's another one if you want to know where some of these images come from leave me a comment and I will um, give you that information I just recently hauled that one from Tuesday morning then this one this is some um, belated birthday and then I love elephants and that's like a get well soon I was just testing out some colors because I don't have a lot of shades of gray and then this is a stamp that I recently purchased from Michaels and that was my first time coloring this so I'm still kind of learning 
So these are the current projects that I'm working on. If you have any questions, please leave them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you all so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.